All right. So now let's look at the next composition, which is um, track map. And so um, this section is about starting the track map composition. And so I'm going to just show, sort of show you what we'll ultimately do in this section, and then we'll go about doing it together. So ultimately, you're going to have three layers. You're going to have a layer with text um, and black font, Ruby's Diner. Oh, I put dinner. <laughs> That's very funny to me. Uh, let me just fix that now. Um, Ruby's Diner. Um, open 24-7, and then you have the proxy of the video um, track map, right? So we're using the proxy, and if we want to see it without the proxy, like the full um, one, we just take, click off the button, right? So we, if we look up here under products, projects, we see that this is uh, a 4K, but with our proxy, we get a nice reduction so that we can move things quicker. Um, which is over here at 480. Let me open this up a little bit so you can see it better. Boom. Okay, so we see that we reduced it so it's 480 instead of 4097, 96. Um, and so when we have the proxy button on, that's we're using the lower resolution one, and when we take the proxy button off, then we're using the higher one. So we are going to use that, and then we're also going to have a white um, solid black background layer in, in white. <laughs> and so that's what we're getting ready to create together. Um, let me just hit save. And um, so let's start the composition again. So you can see mine is called track map, which is what we're going to call it. I'm going to click on the composition layer, I mean file, folder, because when I go to click on new composition, if I select this, then it'll, it, my composition will automatically go in there and keep my stuff nice and neat. So because our previous um, compositions were this size, it has stayed this size, which is what we want, HDTV, 1080, 29. 0.97 frames per second. Um, and so we have our width, we have our height, our frame rate, and we're going to keep it at five. And we're just going to label it track mat. Okay. I'm going to call mine track mat two because I already have one, right? So remember to click on this so that when I click OK, it will go right into there, like, like this one. Okay. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and create a solid layer. So I'm going to go to layer, new, solid. And then I'm going to come here. Um, and I want to keep this size and everything. I do want it to be white. If yours isn't white, you can type in FFFFF. Or you can just choose your white as well manually. Um, I'm going to call it, um, I think we called it background. A BG yep, background. So I'll show you what I mean. Background. Um, it's it's nice to sort of have a system. And so in this book, this is sort of the some the the hyphenated background. You could, if you wanted to write the whole word background, you could. That's perfectly fine. But I'll just do background two because I already did background this background before. You don't have to do the two. So once I do that, I'm going to click OK. So I have my background and then I'm going to get my text tool. And as you know, when I get my text tool, as soon as I click, I get that nice text layer. I'm going to do Ruby Diner. So I will tell you I'm, it's going to be in black. Um, you may find that when you first click and start to write, you are in white. And so when you start to type, you'll go, wait, where's my letters? Is this working? Make sure that your your um, color is black. So I'm in character here, and I can change that to black or white or whatever I need to. So make sure it's in, in black. So then I'm going to type in Ruby Diner, and then open 
24 7. Now your font might be a little bit smaller here and that's okay. Wow, I don't even see my Ruby, my R. So let's do that. Um, but that's because I've, I've done it once so it's sort of already set up. So you will probably need to select all of this and you can change your font size, right? So I can scrub to change my font size. And then what you're gonna say, like what I'll do is I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so you can kind of see some of what I'm gonna do because your spacing will be off. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower that a little bit. I can choose to have it in this particular one right on top of it because that's what the author was talking about. But um, I usually do not do this because you do want some space between. Um, but there are gonna be different times when you will style it differently depending on the purpose of the project. So I'm gonna keep it like this. I kind of like this tension between that thin line um, personally. And so once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and click off of it. And I actually think I'm gonna lower it a little bit. So to do that, I'm gonna need to use my selection tool. So I just wanna lower it a little bit. And he didn't say to do this, um, but, it, and you may not need it, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, center this, which is, you know, just a personal choice right now. And then I'm going to drag in that track mat. So keep in mind, I have that proxy there, it's selected, and I'm just gonna put it between these two. So you have Ruby's Diner and open 24 seven, okay? So I will see you in the next section.